Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's podcast. My name is Lawrence Billy Graham's Num4, and it's your regular program, the Morning Talk Show. Today we shall be talking about misconception. Misconception is a broad word, but today we have a special guest in the studio. He's called BBB. Do you want to know what BBB stands for? We shall be right back after the commercials. Welcome back. Like I mentioned, in studio with me today is BBB. Hello, Mr. BBB. Welcome to today's podcast. Thank you, Reverend Lawrence. Um, so I'm BBB, B song Benny Benedict. So I'm here today with the Reverend himself and uh, just to catch fun and let's talk and let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for honoring my invitation. And today I would like us to talk about misconception. For how long have you been in the UAE? So like six years or five years and going to six. That's a long time. That's a long time. And you know, there are people out of this um, Emirates who do not know actually what uh, the country is or what it is called. What is actually the country? Is it called Dubai? <laughs> so I, 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 for one, I really find it funny when I see a lot of people, even some of them who stay here, still have the misconception about the, you know, the acronym, the United Arab Emirates, and uh, still they still have difficulties in finding out which is which. So we are all in the United Arab Emirates, which is comprised of seven emirates, and then m practically we, most of us, lived in the three main emirates, which is Abu Dhabi, which is the capital of the UAE, and Dubai, which is the economic capital. And then we have uh, Sharjah, um, which uh, recently most Africans and- It's uh, gradually growing. It's growing, it's been expanding. Yes, dear tele viewers, if you are watching us right now from outside UAE, you should understand that the country is United Arab Emirates with Dubai being the economic capital. And of course, Abu Dhabi being the capital state of the country. The country itself is not called Dubai. That is the misconception people have had, especially people coming into the country for their first time when they are not well enlightened. Now, how has your journey in this country been for the six years that you've been here? Has there been a kind of uh, transformation? Has it been a, a period of gold you've been swimming in? Or how has your life been in this country? Uh, so, Reverend, I'll tell you it. I Just like any other country, but I would speak for Dubai, which I have been in all since my first year of coming here. So it's been not all that, uh, you know, not you know, outside there, people, yeah, you know, outside there, people say uh, Dubai is a bad place or UAE is a bad place. There are, beds, there are shared rooms, people sleep on bunk beds like uh, they are in the secondary school. Did you also go through this experience? I, I would say that if you have to come here for your first time, it's only natural that you go through this process. For this process prepares you to become a better person. So most of us come from homes where we have big beds, very large rooms we sleep in. So when you come here and then you 